Welcome. Hello, Professor. You wanted to see me. Good to, of you to come. I did indeed wish to speak with you before my next class. I have a favor to ask you. I, it has to do with magical creatures I have recently brought to Hogwarts from London. Of course, I have a Lu Lu Quata is a large magical creature that has believed to be half hyena and half lion. Great, right? I knew I'd come to the perfect student for this task. I was ho hoping once I explained why I brought him here, uh, you will be able to help me with it. Tell me more. So you see, I brought this cranky and likely a quite hungry little quarter here to help my friend. And this friend is the one who actually, who would normally clean the beast's teeth. He and his assistant have put the whole head and shoulders inside the mouths of similar creatures. Only this one won't even open up his jaw for my friend who is quite the magi zoologist and an ally to all beasts. What can I do to help? Uh, perhaps Hagrid could be of assistance and the one wizard big enough to, and strong enough to accomp accomplish the task without losing a limb. So do you like me to talk to Hagrid for you? Already done, and he's opened the task, uh, but he's off to Hogsmeade for the day, which is why I need you to keep my own honorary, honorary Laquata busy until Hagrid returns. Uh, my hope is that uh, is to clear the beast's, beast's teeth uh, of the debris that's making his food seem unpalatable. Uh, so where is the Laquata right now? Uh, but first it would be a good idea to familiarize yourself with this type of magical creature. Then you can ha head to the forest and meet my new Laquata. And though I don't have time to explain more, I know my Laquata is in good hands with you. Keep him busy and once Hagrid returns, perhaps we can... Help the beast return to its normal, good-natured self. <sighs> Barnaby, I see you have met... Professor Kettlebone's Laquata, if it is him, then I have, but I must admit this particular Laquata seems quite cranky. I believe uh, L the Laquata's teeth uh, need cleaning, but I'm not sure yet. He also thinks perhaps the beast isn't eating and could be hungry. I know I get Cranky when I haven't eaten. Professor Kettleborn wants me to keep the Laquata company. The professor is hoping Hagrid can get the creature to open up it so Hagrid can clean the teeth. To have to suffer until Hagrid gets home. If he's at the hog's head, who knows how long it will be. It would be nice to chew up the Laquata sooner rather than later. Only way to find out is let's get to know it's like quarter I must say Barnaby your suggestion that the Lou quarter isn't bothered by us is just friendly it seems to be true it does let us approach it though it's yet to open its mouth for us I surely know why you'd like uh, to avoid it I don't like uh, blushing either, Mr. Laquata, so sh I so surely know why you'd like to avoid it. Can speak just like us, it even sounds like us. Did that really happen? It did, Mr. Laquata, you just talked, uh, it's just repeating what we are saying. Have other magical abilities, this must be one of them. Look at that, it's opening its mouth for us. Perhaps we should try to clean, lean inside. That's a dumb idea. Whoa. Doesn't look like it wants us to go anywhere near its teeth. 
uh, perhaps L- the Lakota wanted us to know its teeth really do need to be clean after all. Looks like you were wrong when you thought something else is bothering it. Perhaps it's simply m- not comfortable having someone reach inside its mouth. So I'm off to the library to do some research. Uh, with any luck, I'll find a solution. Holy shit, come on, let me just... There you go. Thanks for meeting me uh, and gathering all these books about grooming animals. Show sure seems like a bizarre topic to explore. You're specifically looking for ways to brush the teeth. Professor Kellerborn charged me with with a man in a cranky Lakota who needs its teeth clean. That's nice of you. I can definitely think of better ways to spend your time, though. We haven't met who's this. It's just my friend, Callie. He was with me when you sent the owl asking for help with research. It was in the foul mood, and it's fun to mess with, though. I like me, Kelly enjoys a good prank. I do enjoy pranks very much, though perhaps not as much as me and Tonks. It's good to know you're one of us. I bet we'll find a way to really wild up pints today. If you're lucky, perhaps the answer is in one of these books. Uh, sorry, I'm just not seeing anything in these books that addresses your problem. Which is to clean a giant beast's teeth without a bush, uh, and clean without climbing into its cavernous mouth. Filling the Lakota's mouth with funny tasting soap would be hysterical. That would certainly teach a lesson about being afraid of a silly toothbrush. As I do enjoy them, perhaps the answer to helping Professor Colorbone's cranky Lakota is in, in the book at all. But in a lesson I already know, the skull and charm, Skojify, that would suddenly clean the Lakota's teeth. What the hell? That's brilliant. You are here and you brought the Lakota. We were getting a bit bored sitting around the forest and I thought he, he's really hungry. But creatures aren't allowed in the library, ass and Madame Pince is already in a very bad mood. Not so loud, Kelly. Madam Pence will hear you. Looks like she didn't know. Oh, shit. She heard it. Just what are we going to tell? Whoever you are, you just stay right there. Excuse me. All we do is try to help you educate you and then when Tony you insult us. It wasn't me, it was another student here. He said the offensive comment. I wasn't sure at first, but it was quite clear the second time. That was the Lakota, you see. They can repeat phrases. Well, actually, you can stop right there. There's no evidence to the contrary, and you're the only student in sight. I've been stitched up. Facts are as plain as dimple in my nose. I need to look no further to know you are the offending student. Now, out of my library at once. Blimey, hell, I got stitched out.
I'm glad to see you. I felt so bad for what happened in the library. I should have known better than to bring the magical creature in there. Should have known better. Uh, he's just using his magical ability to repeat what you say. But I never expected him to repeat what the snarky student said. And I'm sorry for running off. We all get in trouble if Madame Pin saw the Lacroix today after all. Uh, leaving was the right thing to do. If you hadn't, we may all have all gotten attention. I really was just so eager to know if we had found a way to help the Lakota. Now that we can fix its eight aching teeth with the Scourgeon's charm, the Lakota may go back to eating. If you can get the Lakota to repeat something in front of others, you may just get a detention. Come over here, we want to explain our plan to you. So you see, we are going to cast the Scourgeon Charm into your mouth, which would clean your teeth nicely. You won't use a brush or have to reach inside. Oh, your stomach, but I find both both make the, me pe equally as hungry. Can we get to work cleaning your teeth? Scourgeify. Thank you, Wolk. The Lakota seems much happier now. I bet you are already having fantasies of what you want to eat first. But we still have to fix the problem with Madame Pince. Really help me by out by visiting the librarian and repeating my apology in front of her. Where are you going? The library is this way. Perhaps I got him a little too excited for his first meal. I told Professor Kellerborn I'd mind this Lakota and I'm not going to disappoint two teachers today. It's the Lakota, and it looks hungry as ever. But are those pixie thinking uh, taunting him like that? With a, with a mouth that big, he could swallow any number of them whole. I know that look. The, the more the Lakota tries to catch something to eat, the crankier it seems to get. Ask me to mind this Lakota until we could help it get its teeth clean. Now that we have solved that problem, we need to figure out how it to f how to get it fed. Perhaps we should find a way to distract it so the pixies will lose interest. Once we do, we can figure out something to feed our new friend. And let's distract the Lakota. It worked, and all the pixies have lost interest and flown away. Which means the Lakota is still very hungry. I love all magical creatures, so I'm not keen on seeing the giant beast feast on pixies. Well, we will feed the Lakota now. Catching something to eat, perhaps I'd like to, uh, I would like to eat something less skittish. But as far as I know, magical creatures don't eat rocks. Besides, he could b break a tooth, and after all the trouble we went through, that's not a good idea. But fruits and vegetables can s s can't scamper away. Sounds like Lakota agrees. Next stop, Haggard's Garden. It's time uh, for me to finally feed this Lakota. There you are, Hagrid, and I see you have already met Professor Kellerborn's Lakota, and a fine job you did getting he, uh, this fine creature's teeth clean. Though the bigger than... What? 
Although I'm bigger than the beast, I was wondering how I'd get my hands in its mouth with a proper bait myself. It was a clever of you, if I do say so myself, but however did you come up with the idea? It was Tulip's friend who inspired me. Kelly is a prince, though, who thought the idea of seeing a Lakota mouth full of soap was a funny idea. Uh, well, and humble, wise and humble, good for you. And um, while I'm always happy to meet a majestic beast such as this one, uh, now that the teeth cleaning problem is solved, I'm wondering if why you wanted to see me. Because the Lakota's tooth pain was the only the first problem now it needs to eat. Bottom man, I found it. It hunted niffles and pixies in the Forbidden Forest, but it was too big to catch any. We thought perhaps you wouldn't mind feeding it pumpkins from here in your garden. So pumpkins could be the right fine feast. Uh, we hoped you'd f uh, feel that way. Uh, I hate thinking of this little car to being so hungry. Once he's fed, I'm hoping he will help me out with another problem. Best we take care of the feeding, uh, the Lakota, and then we, I can help you out with whatever else you're trying to solve. Let's feed this Lakota. Uh, well, look at that. This Lakota seems to genuinely like these huge pumpkins. Why don't we try petting them uh, to be sure? Oh, the Lakota is allowing the pets. It walked. It's not. If that's not a sign of bond between wizard and beast, I don't know what is. I hope you are feeling better. And now I have helped you. I still need your help as well. Well, as you might know, a Lakota can magically repeat phrases, even in our language. <sighs> that depends on what he says and where he's saying it. In this case, Lakota repeated something offensive another su student said about Matter Pence, and I'm going to face the attention for it. She didn't see the other students or the Lakota, so she believes it was me. If we can get Matter Pence to agree to meet with me and the Lakota, I'm hoping she'll realize I'm innocent. And I assume, uh, assure you, uh, Madam Pince will listen to reason. Why don't I try asking to meet here in the Chaos Magical Creature classroom so you can state your case? Once she sees the Lakota and hears my full explanation, I'll be in the clear. Uh, I'll have uh, Professor Kettlebone send for you once Madam P Pince is on her way. How great to see you again, and you have also brought my friend, the Lakota, who looks much more comfortable, I may add. And thank you for all for coming, especially you. Hagrid was quite insistent. I can't imagine why I'm here. It has to do with that, this fantastic creature. He's the one I was telling you about in the library. He repeated those offensive things about you. You really are focused on that. I wanted you to meet him as proof that I wasn't lying when I said he was in the library. That's my fault. So the, this Lakota's teeth were bothering him and we wanted to help. We were trying to clean them so the Lakota could eat. I asked Starkos with mining the Lakota myself. This doesn't change the fact while I was busy doing an important project for the library. I was surely offended by a hopeful remark about my po person and my yo hat, I know, but if you'll give me a chance to explain. 
Very well, at the request of my colleague, I'll give you one chance. Proceed. So, you see, Madam Pence, even though we can't get the student who offended you to confess, there really was a Lakota in the library, and we are sorry for that, as well as the fact that the Lakota repeated the rude remark, no one deserves to be talked about badly. Look at that, before I tell you how I'm feeling, do you have anything else to say? I'd really like to apologize. And you shall have one, I as I did just that. Uh, obviously, you won't have t to serve detention, and be uh, and you are welcome back in the library. It's quite uh, clear I jumped to con conclusions, and you deserve an apology. Have I owe you more than that? Uh, I should have investigated further, gathered the facts, and gone beyond my initial impression. A good rule for all of us. A good rule for all of us, I might say. Uh, it's clear you have made quite the bond with this beast, which is why my friend in London has agreed to, uh, uh, this fine Lakota should stay here. We'll... Uh, be sure to give him regular teeth cleanings and plenty of pumpkins to eat. May I also just suggest you teach him to keep uh, proper company as to avoid any offenses. We'll definitely help him learn when to keep his sh mouth shut. Well, that was cool. There you are, I need your help with something important. What's on? Uh, I'm supposed to tidy up the train gowns for... What? I can't leave this little creature on its own in this state. Uh, Chupacabra. I rescued it from a nearby wizarding village last night and brought it to back to Hogwarts. But now it won't eat, it won't sleep, and I can't figure out what's wrong with it. It's perfectly healthy, but it's been through quite an ordeal. Look at that, I must like you quite a bit since you two know each other. Perhaps you can help me try and cheer it up. It hasn't eaten in hours, so first we should try to feed it something. It's been refusing food, so I doubt it will eat, but it's good to keep trying. While we do, I'll tell you... All it's been through. It sounds like the villagers are all quite mean to the chubacabra and the chubacabra sensitive creatures. It seems to like having us around, but it still won't eat a bait. If there's nothing physically wrong with it, perhaps it's out of sorts because of the villagers hold its feelings. I suppose I'd it, it'd be down if I spent the whole night getting call the monster look at that the m word really upsets it don't worry we like monsters around here i didn't mean meant me i didn't meant it like that i meant um we like chupacabras around here you may uh be on to something if the chupacabra thinks uh, people only see it as you know what that's a lonely feeling uh, but chupacabras are blood suckers. Some folks look at uh, one and see nothing but trouble. Especially goat farmers. Even if the chupacabra's only doing what's natural, a goat farmer likes, looks at a chupacabra and sees nothing but a creature that sucks the blood out of its livestock. Chupacabra may need blood to survive, but hippogriffs eat meat and they are beloved. People look at hippogriffs and see a majestic, powerful beast. Perhaps we can be helping the chupacabra with its image so people aren't so frightened of it. That po poked it right up. I suppose that means it's worth a try. I'd love to help you, but I have got to get to work on in, in the training grounds. Style Wizard Andre, you will know what to do. With his help, no one will be fighting at the sight of a chubacabra. 
With Andre's help, I'll be able to fix the Chupacabra's image, and it will be happy and eaten again in no time. What did you want to see me about? I'd like to introduce you to my friend. What's bothering the little monster looks downright miserable? I meant no offense, you look marvelous. A group of scared farmers hurt its feelings and I want to make sure that doesn't happen again. From now on, when people look at the Chupacabra, I want them to see more than just a blood sucker. I thought Andre Igu, the style wizard, would know how to help me fix the Chupacabra's image. If you want the Chupacabra to be less scary, you have got to find out the perfect outfit. You are saying you want to dress this Chupacabra up? What do you think? I'm not sure clothes are the answer. I've never seen a Chupacabra wear anything before. I'd still like to try. It could prove, uh, provide just the confidence boost it needs. Let's give it a go. Let's have our friend step behind the privacy curtain. I'll try several efforts and see if anything works. Damn, look at that mess. Chupacabra is definitely not interested in wearing clothes. Not only does our friend have no interest in being well-dressed, it has no interest in being dressed at all. It shredded every outfit I tried to put on it. My fabric is all in tatters. I did try to warn you. I was sorry. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm very passionate about my fabrics. I suppose some creatures just aren't made for high fashion. But if we aren't changing its look, how else could we help improve its reputation? Perhaps you could harness those natural strategic abilities in some way. Rather than changing the Chupacabra's look, we could use its gift for, uh, for strategy to make it more approachable. Wizard Chess is the most strategic game there is. If we taught it Wizard Chess... Uh, who could be scared of it then? But you'd need a very skilled teacher to teach a Chupacabra wizard chess. And he's always looking for interesting new opponents. I'll get Murphy to train the Chupacabra. Uh, winning a game or two can be quite fa satisfying. When I went up against Professor McGonagall. And even though I didn't win, the game was quite fulfilling. I'll send an owl to Morphe and see if he's willing. It's time to introduce Chupacabra to this exciting world of wizard's chess. Thanks for meeting me. Of course, I'm always happy to hear someone's interest in learning Wizard's Chest. I'm hoping Wizard's Chest will help clear my up my friend. We wanted to change its image so people would be less afraid of it. But it proved quite strategic when dodging its attempts to dress it. So I thought we could... Uh, harness its gift for strategy and change its image by teaching its wizard's chess. I'm always on the lookout for exciting new opponents. Plus, wizard's chess has been known to soothe many witches and wizards with wild temperatures. No offense. I've got everything we need to get started. Do you think Chupacabra feels the same way? Is it ready to begin? I think the Chupacabra is ready. And I have to admit it, I am too. And let's get started.
Moments before, that was a strange and unpredictable game of Rose's Chest. The like Chupacabra seemed to have fun, but its chaotic style made it difficult to say if it understood the rules. Uh, like I've always said, Rose's Chest is a great... What? A great equalizer, I guess. What's all this yelling about? It's a monster. Everyone hide. One flee. Keep your voice down. The Chubacabra is my friend. Don't use that word again. Chubacabra is very sensitive to what people say about it. Look at the Chubacabra. It is absolutely miserable again. How did another game of his chest? Uh, force the villagers down, Ben. You must feel like you don't belong anywhere. Well, that must be it. Perhaps the Chubacabra isn't sad because people are afraid of it, but it, it's being rejected wherever it goes, which must me make it feel like it doesn't belong. You're right, it was quite happy when I, we were playing with the chest together, and it bought, parked, uh, poked up uh, when Hagen and I will spend time with it. Instead of changing the Chupacabra, we need to find a community that appreciates it for what it is. Harmony, that's it. I may know just the group of Chuba for the Chupacabra. The Chupacabra's got the bl blind and hiss. It would be great addition to the whole fog trial. I'll take Chupacabra to Professor Flitwick for an addition. A hole, a wall in the fog fire could give it a sense of a belonging and needs to be happy once and for all. I uh, will have to make this quick. You've caught me b between appointments. I'd like you you to audition my friend, Chubacabra, to the Fog Crier. You must be joking. I'm not. It's been episodes ever since I had an unpleasant encounter with some scared farmers. I've been trying to find some way to prove those more to it uh, than it what it eats. I realize what it really needs is, isn't to change, but to have a sense of belonging. Is happiest when it's working with others. I saw it a little bit when Hagrid and I tried to feed it. Um, so I thought being part of a fog prior would give it the sense of belonging it needs to finally be happy. It has a very dull... dull Delicate uh, balance, and it requires a variety of special talents. Uh, nothing sounds like a chupacabra, but people will come out from all over to hear it squawk and, and hiss. Perhaps the chupacabra sound is what we have been missing. I'll get you a friend and quick audition. Let's hear it. I agree, the Chupacabra has a unique sound, but I'm afraid it's not the right sound for the musical group. I'm sorry to disappoint you. I admire your commitment, but I don't think Chupacabra fits with the Fog Crier. I've never heard a sound, uh, anything so brilliantly tortured before in my life. Myron, it's time for our appointment already. Technically, I'm late, but I arrived just in time to see Dark Horse. And this dark creature, the creature you mentioned in this, is my friend Chubacabra. If you have a second, I'd like to talk to you and your friend about a song the group's been working on. Chubacabra seems interested. We need a sound that can really cut through... We'd hope you debut this new song at the concert, but it still wasn't right at our last rehearsal. I heard your friend's dreadful squawks. 
the song finally came together in my head. Tonight, uh, you really think Chupacabra would fit in with the Weird Sisters? I think the Chupacabra and the Weird Sisters could make a powerfully dark music together. It looks like the Chupacabra's interested. Let's walk and roll. Excuse me. Then we go off to the training grounds so we can rehearse with the Weird Sisters. <coughs> oh. No, 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 no. Talk to the Weird Sisters. Chupacabra's ready to sing its heart out on your new song, but it looks a little low on energy. It's been a long day. We tried to change its image with new clothes with the chest, but the key to happiness all along was finding the group that appreciates it for the blood sucker it is. There will be quite a large group of people who appreciate it for exactly who it is. Before we start rehearsal, I'm trying to choose a line to introduce to the blood sucker. I'd like to sing it right before it's solo. Which of these lyrics do you think uh, is the best? Uh, let the rev wretched revolution shaking people out of the jewels lives and getting no blood pumping. I believe we're ready to start. The song was brilliant, but something's wrong with Chupacabra. I barely had the strength to squawk. The poor creature's completely worn out. It could be hungry. I'm like the walking dead. If I don't get enough food. And after the day uh, we have had, I'm sure it's starving. Maybe now it's, that it's made a new friend, it can finally have an appetite. Perhaps we should find something else that could give it energy. While sucking the blood of the goats and ch is Chupacabra's nature, uh, I don't want it to feel judged after what happened with the farmers. Perhaps we should avoid feeding it uh, Hogwarts creatures. That reminds me of something that odd I saw in Hogsmeade. Sonkers was receiving a shipment of blood flavored lollipops. Perhaps the Chupacabra could be interested in something like that. Alright, we'll head off to Zonkers. We'll get a blood flavored lollipop and give it to uh, you a quick energy boost. Without the Chupacabra, we'll have to cut the new song at this point that could throw the, off the whole show. After a quick trip, trip to Zonkos, it will have the energy it needs to be put on an unforgettable show. I'd like to buy one of the your blood flavored lollipops. Fascinating it does look a little scraved now. I've had I've been trying to help it find a sense of belonging. Things are looking up now that the weird sisters have taken an interest in it. I need to find something for it uh, to eat so it will have energy for the concert tonight. It looks just like me between dinner and supper. There are no lollipops left on display, good news for me, but bad news for the Chupacabra. Uh, you're in luck, my inventory list says we have, I uh, may have a box around here somewhere. Uh, help me search for the shop, if, for the last box. We have searched the whole shop, but the last box of blood flavored lollipops is nowhere to be found. They were weirdly popular and the items go missing all the time. I swear they have a mind of their own. If you have a week or so, I may get uh, some more in. 
we have almost no time at all for the before the concert starts. If we can't find blood favor lollipop soon, the concert will be ruined. The happiest the ch- uh, Chupacabra has been all day was when Maron asked it to perform. Looking for some blood flavored lollipops. Uh, but the last box is hidden somewhere. We have looked all over. The last box is hardly f- hidden. I have been carrying it around with me while I shop for the for other dreadful delights. You can share my lollipops if I can watch the Chupacabra eat them. You are my uh, hero. You saved the day. My love for pranks benefits us all. Finally ate something and look how happy it is. How can we repay you? There is one thing. Anything? I overheard you saying that Chupacabra is going to perform with the Weird Sisters. I spent all day in line waiting for these lollipops. So I missed my chance to get a ticket to the concert. Perhaps you, uh, as a guest of the Weird Sisters, the Chupacabra could eat, get me an invite. I think that's a yes, and it looks like the Chupacabra has the energy back, which means it's time to go. Still a little nervous? Why don't we spend some quality time together and make sure you're comfortable before the big show? Oh, it's the console. It's the console. You two got here just in time. You're about to get started. We have all been a little worried seeing how weak the ch- Chupacabra was at her rehearsal. And Chupacabra's ready to walk. Just look how excited it is. Squawk, squawk, skis. You have done brilliant job, Hugh, and we won't forget it. Seems like the blood-flavored lollipop worked like a treat. Listen to that. The happier it is, the darker and more compelling the song will be. Now let's get on with it. Uh, I'd like to introduce to you our new friend, Chubacabra. Uh, as for the rest of us, we are the Weird Sisters, and this is our new song, Blood Sucker. To be honest, after seeing the Chupacabra hurt by those frightened farmers, I never thought I'd see you happy. I would think it's safe to say you chewed the Chupacabra right up. It turned out the Chupacabra didn't really need it to change. After all, all it wanted was to feel belonged. The Chupacabra now has plenty of fans at Hogwarts. It's time for the Chupacabra's big moment. Let the wretched revolution begin. It's beautiful. Not only did you cheer the Chupacabra, you showed tireless commitment to the creature in need. I'm awful proud of you. I'm proud to call you my friend. Friendship's all about Chupacabras. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Peace.